the bypass surgery and angioplasty i will show you uh, angiography first you can see this angiography slide we have to put the wire over here the wire has to go all through and go to the heart and there they have to put the wire inside the uh, tube where the blockage is there and then they do an angioplasty now about the angioplasty let me explain in the last 20 years this all these angioplasties have come and they have all failed initially there was ballooning or balloon angioplasty this balloon angioplasty failed badly when ballooning came the cardiologist claimed this is the best treatment and once you get a ballooning no problem will happen ever then the ballooning failed after a few years the same cardiologist comes and tells us that ballooning is not so good if we put a stent it will be good so people lot of people started putting stents after a few years the stent was discarded because the inside the stent the blockage was coming back again so they said it has to be a gold stent it has to be a, a radioactive stent and all these stents came and went off after some time they came up with this medicated stent now the medicated stent they promised this is the best stent and nobody will have any difficulty but within few years they found out all the medicated stents are coming back the latest statistics published in one of the major journals said that within one year 66 percent of these people get a re-blockages so these stents are not working and this is what is the reality let me explain why the stents are uh, what is the stenting what is the ballooning let me explain let's see this picture let's see the picture you can see uh, in the picture there is a um, blockage and you can see the wire and this wire we have to push it through the blockage and once the wire is crossed on this wire there is a balloon a small balloon and this balloon once it is pushed in the heart uh, then uh, inside the blockage then they put a take a syringe from outside and swell the balloon from outside uh, pushing some water and the balloon swells the blockage is pushed on this side or on this side this is called ballooning once the ballooning is done the immediately within two three seconds the balloon is uh, the water is withdrawn from outside by sucking the blood through the syringe uh, by water sucking the water through the syringe and once the water is out the balloon will shrink and they have to pull the wire out and the angioplasty is done but then they found out that with this balloon uh, coming out there will be a blockage coming back again because this wall will shrink back then they found out the stent now look at the stent this is a blockage this is the blockage on both sides and you can see there is a balloon over here the balloon number one uh, you can see the black balloon and the balloon is swollen now the blockage has pushed on on the has been pushed on the sides once the balloon is taken out the blockage will come back and for this they put a stent this is a spring this spring will not allow the blockages to come back but the unfortunate the spring itself is a foreign body and inside the foreign bodies the blockages started coming so within few years they said no this stent is not so good we put a medicated stent that was again a foreign body so blockage was coming back again and ultimately they declared angioplasty is not so good and still now in america now they have they have already started withdrawing this medicated stent and now they have coming up with a new stent called biodegradable stent i must tell you the stent is a foreign body and foreign body inside the body is never a good thing and this is one of the reasons that the stents don't last for a long time then the bypass surgery bypass surgery means you have to cut the whole of the chest look at the, the slide you have to cut the whole of the chest you have to open the chest and the heart is pumping you have to stop the heart if you stop the heart there is a heart lung machine required in this machine there is a artificial heart artificial lung and you have to put the uh, five bottles of blood in that and the machine will run the body and during this machine running the body you have to stop the heart and you have to cut one tube from the leg or the hand or the chest and put it in the heart and remember this is called a bypass surgery now look at this picture this is what is a bypass surgery there is a blockage and by the side of the blockage you have put a new tube but tell me this new tube will get blocked up or not yes sooner or later the new tube will also get blocked up now look at this slide i have only one question I am against these two surgeries. Why? Understand this. The original blockage took 40 years to grow. That is 2% per year. After an angioplasty, it is 6 months to 1 or 2 years. That means the speed is 40% per year. If it is 2 years, the highest, then maybe 40% per year. Now, 40%, 2% has become 40%. Why? Because it is not 
a good treatment angioplasty after an angioplasty because of the foreign body the blockage is coming back very fast 20 times high speed so you must understand that we can stop this angioplasty we may not have this 40 percent uh, for this 20 times jump in the blockaging process and look at bypass surgery 1 to 10 years is the time 1 to 10 years is the time average is 5 years now 5 years and 80 percent that means 16 percent per year it is 9 times or 8 times more speedier than the normal body and this is why I the first occasion I always tell people that after bypass after angioplasty the blockages will speed up so I've got people who have got three bypasses, four angioplasties. We have got people who have got 12 stents. Our uh, own Prime Minister, the present Prime Minister, Mr. Manmohan Singh had one bypass surgery, then stents, then another bypass surgery. Now, do you think all the people should do like this? Bypass, I don't want. Angioplasty, I don't want. And if we can have both the system eliminated with lifestyle change, we can get you the similar result. And this is what is the... Uh, aim of Sawal that no bypass, no angioplasty. So by now you must have understood heart disease in great detail and you have also understood why we are against these bypass surgeries, angioplasties and how the hospitals are very rapidly getting people into operation table. Now I am going to tell you about the medical management of heart disease, how we can manage heart disease with the medicines. You must be all taking allopathic medications from our medical system. As a cardiologist, as a doctor, I also recommend you to take those tablets. Because in my system, Saul Heart System, we do not stop the medications. Medications will carry on, but you have to understand why these medicines are there and what are the effects of these medicines on our body and how we also want the medicines to be on. But only thing we want, you have to change keep on changing lifestyle and then once the lifestyle is changed maybe some of the medicines can be withdrawn plus remember these medicines should only be withdrawn when we as a doctor explain to you when the medicines are to be ex excluded from your system okay thank you let's watch what are the medicines Now let me explain to you what are the medical drugs we give to the heart patients. As a cardiologist, as a doctor, I have uh, heart patients and I have to give them medical drugs. But the medical drugs are only for the time being. Now what are these medical drugs? Let me explain. Uh, the aim of this medical drug is first to relieve all the angina that is the pain. And look at the medical drugs I have got. Uh, we have dilators we have thinners and we have tablets which reduce the blood supply of the uh, the blood requirement of the heart and these three tablets if we give them one is a dilator dilator means it will make the tube bigger the tube is like this if i give the dilator the tube will become bigger and this kind of tablets are there and then there are uh, thinners thinners are something like uh, they thin the blood and then there are some tablets called beta blockers, calcium channel blocker, ACE inhibitors. These tablets, they reduce the oxygen requirement of the heart. And with all these tablets, there will be relief to the patient. Now look at this slide. Uh, there are uh, dilated tablets and you can see there is a group 1 called Sorbitrate, Angicid, Monotrate, Monit, Ismo, Imdur, Nitrocontin, Nitrolife, Angispine TR, Vesoprene, Monosprene, Nitrolife. Then there is a group 2 called Flavidon, Trividon, Carbidon, Metagard, Cytogard. Then there are dilators called Nicoran, Corandil, Corflow, Nicorandil, Kion, Gynicor, Kcor. Then there are uh, another group of uh, vasodilators called Ranozex, Rans, Ranolazine, Rancad. Now we can give all these tablets to the patient and you will see most of you are having the same tablets. Either of these tablets have to be on. But remember they don't cure the blockage. If the tablet works for 8 hours, I have to give you 3 times in a day. If the works for 12 hours, then I have to give you 2 times in a day. If it works for 24 hours, I have to give you once in a day. Now these tablets can give you relief. They can give you a relief. And along with these tablets, I can give you a tablet called blood thinner. And if you see the list of these thinners, Ecosprene, Desprene, Lodosprene, Aspent, ASA, Loprene, then there are clopilate, clopivas, clopitab, uh, clavix, clodril, plagiril, stromax, dplat and uh, all these tablets they can give you 
uh, blood thinning capacity so blood is thinned and your uh, blood will flow much more smoothly then there is a third group of tablets which reduce the oxygen need of the heart if the oxygen need of the heart is reduced the angina will immediately reduce but the blockages will not be removed remember these are the three groups of tablets which drugs which reduce the oxygen need of the heart and look at the names of these tablets a beta blocker atenol beta card tenormine beta lock atecard aten tenolol inderol nebicard selocan metexel depin then calcium channel blocker there are depin delgim amlopress amlong amlopin amlovas tamlo amcard and then there are ace inhibitors and arb group called envas lipril cipril cardes remes losar losacar engijar remipril enarpril uh, remes all these tablets i can give you now with these tablets the patient will immediately get a relief but no solution to the blockage so as a cardiologist as a doctor i know i have to reduce the angina of the patient and these tablets can also some of these tablets can also reduce the blood pressure then i have to give them blood sugar releasing tablets and all these tablets they don't cure the patient as you will find out in your prescription many of these drugs and along with these drugs we have to also give you some cholesterol lowering drugs look at the names the storva simba simcard josta atorly patorva avas atocor astor rosuva stator tigitor ezetimib and then there are triglyceride lowering drugs also bezalip lopid stanlip phenolip lipicard and there are combination drugs called fibetor lipikind f there are so many combinations of tablets we can give you plus along with these tablets there may be side effects remember these tablets don't cure the blockage they have to be taken throughout your life and along with these tablets we have we may need some vitamins called bicadexamine supradine centrum and uh, if we have acidity as a side effect we can give you gelucil diagen rantax zantac moza cesa pan pentodec lan uh, ocid and if you cannot sleep because of the tension given by the hospital then you need anxi trica alprax campos zolfrates and then if you get constipation i can give you anti constipation drugs but remember this medical treatment is not a very good treatment definitely it is good in one sense that at least it is giving you a relief today but on the long run i do not want medical treatment to go on and i want you to uh, go for lifestyle changes that is the most important treatment thank you so much welcome back again now there is a very important chapter that is coming up about what is this cholesterol what is triglyceride and how we have to change our food habits and exercise habits and how uh, we can change the risk factors of life uh, with lifestyle changes and i'm going to explain to you what are the lifestyle changes i suggest as a saul heart program director i always conduct thousands of uh training camps all over the country and these training camps give you details about the heart care what are the lifestyle changes so stay with me for next 5 10 minutes and i'm going to explain to you what is cholesterol triglyceride and i'm going to give you details about the lifestyle changes required to reverse heart disease let me explain what are the things we can do people tell me sir then you don't want a bypass surgery don't want angioplasty you don't also need medicines for the on the long run then what to do we have to do lifestyle changes remember we have three options now look at this option in the slide we have the blocks from wherever it is 70 80 90 90 wherever we are from there we can grow the blockage we can make lifestyle changes and make the blockage steady in such case heart attack may not happen but you have to carry on with the lifestyle and the drugs throughout your life but then the third option is reversal that means you don't grow the blockage you reverse the blockage and this is what i want you to do the reversal of the blockages now for this reversal there is a theory people tell me doctor i al always do some changes in the lifestyle i think some is not good we have to do a complete change let me explain what is the theory of reversal these are the causes of blockage these are the causes of blockage the cholesterol the triglyceride hdl ldl vldl cholesterol hdl ratio blood pressure high blood sugar smoking lack of exercise overweight low fiber low antioxidant alcohol and stress now all these reasons we have to remove 
not that if you if you look at this picture you will see in the picture there is a drum in this drum there are 15 holes and we want to fill up the drum with water now tell me how many holes to be closed if the drum has to be filled up look at this picture again these are the holes and we are filling the drum with water and there is no filling up happening because the drums are leaking with the holes now tell me how many holes to be closed and how much of the holes to be closed the answer is all the holes to be closed and all completely closed this is what is the theory of reversal that means you have to control all the 15 risk factors to the maximum if the cholesterol has to be reduced it has to go down to uh, the minimum that is 130 milligram per deciliter cholesterol if you have to reduce triglyceride i don't want uh, it to be more than 100 blood pressure i want 120 by 80 yeah, sugar I want fasting below 100 after food 140 and if you don't maintain all these then the blockages are going to grow and growing to grow means one day you are looking for a heart attack this is what I do not want so we have to now understand what are the lifestyle changes remember the out of these 15 reasons the most important is cholesterol now you have to know what is cholesterol cholesterol is something very important if you see this slide what about cholesterol this is what is the structure of cholesterol this is a cyclopentanoperhydrophenanthrin ring and this don't worry about this name just understand it is an animal fat cholesterol is available only in animal food and animal food is meat chicken mutton beef and egg remember no plant food has any cholesterol if you see these plant foods like uh, this cashew nut and almond they write no cholesterol they don't have cholesterol because they are all plant food only animal food are going to have cholesterol now in animal food there is a, a vegetarian product also called milk milk is also full of cholesterol though it is an animal food because it is an animal food it has to have cholesterol but milk has a beauty you can boil the milk and let it settle down cool it and then all the fat is on the top you can remove the top and then then you can drink milk so milk to be cut down to a greatest extent and without fat milk and you have to cut down all the uh, animal foods for reducing cholesterol along with this cholesterol if you have a genetic tendency where your liver may be manufacturing double or triple cholesterol you have to take some cholesterol lowering drug to reduce your cholesterol but i want cholesterol to be at 130 the next chapter is about triglyceride remember after cholesterol what is most important is triglyceride triglyceride is nothing but oil this safola carnola dhara sundrop moonrop goldrop sikar vital fortune olive oil rice bran oil soybean oil gingerly oil uh, mustard oil all these oil have one common name in medical science called triglycerides and these triglycerides i don't want in your food so we want zero oil cooking no oil cooking remember uh, we add oil in the food because we did not know that this will deposit but remember if you i'll show you i'll tell you where you can see the oil deposits you cook the food with oil and then after you finish the cooking you go to your kitchen uh, wall the wall nearest to the cookware and you just touch that wall you will see some sticky material on the wall this is what is the oil deposit the ladies they know in the evening they take surf and cl clear that area clean that area if i don't allow them to clean for the next uh, one month you will know there will be a layer by layer deposition of oil and these oils are what is deposited inside the inside your uh, exhaust fan inside the uh, fans of your um, of your uh, chimney and you will see these fans they are completely deposited with cholesterol with triglyceride and this triglyceride i don't want in your food so zero oil cooking now for this we have uh, prepared about 1000 recipes not a single drop of oil when i tell a heart patient they will say little oil i will add the lady will say little oil i say no oil then they will give them a boiled food remember the concept of zero oil is you add no oil but all the spices to be to be there the masalas to be there remember the test is because of the masalas only problem is when we learn cooking the, all the ladies when they learn cooking they have learned that only on the oil you can put the spices 
but saul has a new concept that the spices will all be there they will be all fried but not with oil but with water and this all the spices are there the taste will be same you do one thing you just dip your finger on the oil and put it in your tongue there will be no taste no taste oil does not have any taste it's a wrong belief that oil has taste but without oil if you can cook all the food we have got 1000 recipes without oil the taste is all the same i always ask people you want oil or you want taste people say i want taste i said without oil will give you the same taste and the heart will be saved because no triglyceride will go to the blood so we want zero oil cooking and for that we've got 150 south indian dishes we've got 150 vegetables we've got 150 snacks we've got 150 um, sweets all these items we can create without a drop of oil 100 i have got 50 days menu without a drop of oil now the taste will be same and we invite the ladies we have this one day camps where and three day camps where we invite the husband and the wife both the patient and the wife both and they stay with us they see how the how they eat the same food without oil they find the test is good then we teach them how to cook the food we give them the live demonstration and these camps are very popular if you understand zero oil food and you can eat them at home and that will be wonderful your heart disease will half cleared remember there was a, a very recent study in united states they there was a doctor called eseltine dr caldwell b eseltine he is the person who showed if you can avoid all the animal product you are only on plant based diet and you don't take any oil your blockage can never grow and you are definitely going to get no heart attack and this is called heartattackproof.com there is a website he has created www.heartattackproof.com so no oil and then we want you to walk 35 minutes we want your uh, weight to go down to bmi 25 we want you to leave smoking and cigarette and uh, you must uh, also take lot of fruits and vegetable because you will get fiber and antioxidants from there and along with that you have to control the sugar to the highest and if you are a diabetic patient if you don't control the sugar the blockage will grow now for that we also give you lifestyle training about the sugar about what you should eat as a complex carbohydrate and you have to avoid is simple carbohydrate along with that you have to control the di- blood pressure also 120 by 80 is my limit if you are having more blood pressure more blockage will grow remember 130 40 many cardiologists they allow okay 140 is allowed but never remember 120 is the best now the medical community take has taken a very clear decision 120 by 80 is the best thing and for all these we also have added uh, stress management classes remember stress is the most important of all of them if you are under stress then your blood pressure will go up your sugar will go up your cholesterol will go up your triglycerides will going to go up and for this we have a complete training on stress management and we have books we have got cds on stress management you can always take them and along with the stress management uh, we have yoga and meditation remember yoga pranayama hre asanas these are some of the yoga asanas and exercises i teach to the heart patients so saul has science part all the medical treatment all the medical test all the medical knowledge and along with that we have art of living the medical science uh, along with the art and this is a wonderful thing art would mean stress management yoga meditation cooking and all these together is science and art of living so if you follow this your heart attack will never happen your blockage will not grow blockage will grow down dr dean ornis the scientist in united states he has publications in the most important journals in medical science where he showed that the reversal is possible he has published his article in journal of american medical association lancet the most prestigious medical journal new england journal of medicines all these journals they agree that the blockages can be reversed yes obviously the speed is not going to be very big if you follow all these risk factors,